take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Pisces babies for today? All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups, we have the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles here. This could very well be about work or it could be about money. Um, but it could also be about, uh, if I can get the words out, stability. You know, um, you're trying to build up your stability. You're trying to build up your safety net. Um, Pentacles is abundance, prosperity, but it comes in all forms, not just monetary. So we also have the Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands and the Emperor coming out in reverse. We have bottom deck energy, Two of Swords. So you're having to make a decision about something where, all right, I have the page of pentacles here. You're making plans of moving to more stable grounds. You have the plans. You haven't moved yet. But I feel like that you're looking to see who is going to go with me on this journey. So if this is about work, you're looking to see, do I stay in my present or do I look for another job? You know, um... I feel like that you're looking at what is supporting you and what isn't. And with the four of pentacles here, I feel like that you are kind of holding to yourself. It's like you're observing. Who's going to go on this new beginning with me? Am I going to stay with my old job and hope that they give me a raise? Or am I going to go for a new job where I can be appreciated and have a new raise and have a possible promotion? So I feel like that you're just kind of standing back a little bit and you're weighing the options out as to how you want to go forward with the new beginning. It's almost like the pros and cons thing. So we do have the Knight of Pentacles where you're getting a game plan in place and you're wanting to move towards it in a very slow and steady wins the race type of energy. We do have the Eight of Wands. I feel like that there could be something or somebody. We have the Emperor in reverse. So there is somebody that is present in your life that is trying to be that energy or be that uh, communication in your ear of don't forget about me. Where do I fit in this? Um, the emperor in reverse tells me it could be somebody who uh, kind of a lower vibrational emperor. They're working on things. They're trying to get certain things done. Um, but is it to your liking? I feel like that you're looking at it and you're like, is this going to be too heavy for me? Is this going to be something that I want to deal with on a regular basis? You know, um, you could be dealing with somebody who is uh, going through it right now. You know, it's almost like the emperor in reverse is like a fallen king. Okay. So with the two of swords, you're like really in your head about it. Like, do I want to do this? is the question. And the fact that you're even questioning it, you know, do I want to be there? Do I not want to be there? Tells me that you're kind of on the fence about it. You know, um, I don't know if I want this job. I don't know if I want this position. Now you might be presenting it like you want it. You might be presenting it like, yeah, I, I'm, I'll think about it. But it's almost like a I'm going to let them know that I'm thinking about it because I don't want them to take the offer off the table. But really on the inside, you're, you're, you're really truly contemplating whether you even want this or not. It's like you're, you're sitting at home with yourself and you're like, I really don't know if I want to take this on. What energies is around my Pisces babies? What energies are around my Pisces babies? Now, see, this energy could also be you of uh, being frustrated with trying to find something stable, trying to find that new beginning, you know. But this tells me that there's something coming in or something has come in um, presenting itself saying, hi, I'm here. Don't forget about me, you know. Um, we have Virgo. We have Gemini. We have Aquarius. That could be possible energies around you.
We also have Taurus. Bottom deck energy is Leo. So that's what I have for you today, Pisces. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.